everybody to another episode of 914 Wired. I'm Charlie Stern and uh, my partners in this endeavor, Peter Moses and Ardina Seward, unfortunately couldn't be here today. They'll be back. Um, but I do have a very special guest that I'm going to introduce in a few seconds. I First, I want to say I truly appreciate every single person that listens to even a single episode of this series. It's uh, it's very touching. I'm out there in public events and things that I my normal life, and people say, hey, I caught the 914 Wired and, and uh, heard about this episode or that episode. Just like it means a great deal to me. Uh, that people are actually listening. So thank you for that. And if you're listening for the first time and you're not subscribed uh, on YouTube, you press the subscribe button. Or if you're listening to the podcast, click follow. And that way you find out about future episodes. So anyway, since Peter and Ardina couldn't be here today, um, I still wanted to do a show and I invited a very special guest. Uh, My guest today is Juniper from ChatGPT. Hello, Juniper. Thank you for having me on 914 Wired. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm excited to chat with you and your audience today. What would you like to dive into first? Well, Juniper, I want to talk about, because on this show, we talk about politics, education, and culture. And, you know, from a 914 area code perspective in Westchester County, but we also just generally talk about uh, things that are going on in the entire rest of the world. So I wanted to understand your knowledge of education and politics and culture. So how about we start out with some questions? That sounds great, Charlie. Let's dive into some questions about education, politics, and culture. What would you like to start with first? Well, I want to start with um, a political question, which is a very basic idea. What do you think are the key factors that influence voter turnout in a Democratic election? Key factors that influence voter turnout in Democratic elections include 1. Voter registration laws. Simplified registration processes and policies such as same-day registration can increase turnout, while strict registration requirements can deter participation. 2. Election type and timing. Presidential elections typically have higher turnout than midterm or local elections. Elections held on weekends or national holidays often see higher participation than those on weekdays. Three, competitiveness of race. Close races tend to drive higher voter engagement as individuals feel their vote is more likely to make a difference. Four, voter mobilization efforts. Campical parties and interest groups that actively engage and mobilize voters through canvassing, phone calls, and social media can significantly boost turnout. Five, socioeconomic free to ask more about any of these factors or related topics. ChatGPT, in three to four sentences, can you tell me why early voting improves the likelihood of outcomes in uh, political elections? Improves the likelihood of outcomes in political elections by increasing voter participation. It provides greater flexibility for voters who may have scheduling conflicts on election day, thereby reducing barriers to voting. Additionally, Early voting can help to alleviate long lines and congestion at polling places on Election Day, making the voting process more efficient and accessible for everyone. This leads to a more representative and comprehensive turnout, reflecting a broader segment of the electorate. Sources. What do you think, what role does the media play in shaping public opinion and public discourse? And if you could please respond to me in uh, less than 100 words and leave off the um, the reference sources, please. Crucial role in shaping public opinion and public discourse by selecting which issues are highlighted, framing how stories are presented, and influencing the perceived importance of topics. Through agenda setting, priming, and framing, the media can shape public perceptions and attitudes, ultimately guiding the focus and direction of public conversations and policy debates. This power can both inform and misinform the public, impacting democratic processes and societal values. Words or less, ChatGPT, can you tell me um, what is a democracy and how is it different from a monarchy or a dictatorship? Issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. 
What is capitalism in 50 words or less without citing sources? Economic system where private individuals or businesses own and operate the means of production and distribution. The primary goal is profit, driven by competition and consumer choice, with minimal government interference in the market. ChatGPT, can you please tell me all of the presidents whose names began with a P? Presidents whose names began with the letter P. How many times is the word liberty used in the first 10 amendments of the U.S. Constitution? Is used once in the first 10 amendments of the U.S. Constitution, also known as the Bill of Rights. It appears in the Fifth Amendment, which states, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. You summarize the Equal Protection Clause of the U.S. Constitution of the 14th Amendment, Equal Protection Clause. Can you summarize that in 25 words or less? Clause of the 14th Amendment mandates that no state shall deny any person within its jurisdiction equal protection under the law. What is communism in 25 words or less with no sources? Socioeconomic system where all property is publicly owned and each person works and is paid according to their abilities and needs. Um, what who are three of the most important um, science facts that a fifth grader should know? Two important social science facts are, one, democracy, a system of government where citizens have the power to vote and make decisions about how they are governed. This helps ensure everyone's voice can be heard and promotes fairness and equality. Two, cultural diversity, the variety of different cultures, traditions, and languages found in the world. Understanding and respecting cultural diversity fosters tolerance, empathy, and cooperation among people from different backgrounds. What oceans border the United States of America? America is bordered by three oceans, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, the Pacific Ocean to the west, and the Arctic Ocean to the north. What oceans border the nation China? By two oceans, the Pacific Ocean to the east and the South China Sea, which is part of the Pacific Ocean to the southeast. How many people are there in India? Four. The population is estimated to be approximately 1.44 billion people. This makes India the most populous country in the world, surpassing China. Words or less, without citing sources, can you tell me how does wealth and resources get distributed in a society? ...are distributed in society through economic systems, government policies, market dynamics, and social structures, influencing inequality and access to opportunities. I want to ask you um, a deep question here, and then I may have some follow-up questions. So for the first question, could you please answer in 25 words or less, what is government? A nice system of authority that establishes and enforces laws, provides public services, and manages resources for a society. And how many different types of government are there? Types of government, but some of the primary ones include, one, democracy. Power is vested in the people who elect representatives. Two, monarchy, a ruler such as a king or queen holds power often inherited. Three, authoritarianism, concentrated power, single authority or small group with limited political freedoms. Four, totalitarianism, extreme form of authoritarianism where the government seeks to control all aspects of life. Five, republic, a form of democracy where people elect representatives to make decisions on their behalf. Six, communism, a system where the state controls all means of production and distribution of resources. Seven, socialism, similar to communism, but can coexist with democratic governance, the state plays a significant role in economic management. These types can vary widely in practice and can overlap or exist in hybrid forms. So then which type is better, a democracy or socialism? Whether democracy or socialism is better depends on various factors and perspectives. Democracy emphasizes individual freedoms and the right to participate in political processes, fostering political stability and personal liberties. It allows for a diverse range of opinions and policies, reflecting the will of the majority while protecting minority rights. Socialism, on the other hand, focuses on reducing economic inequalities by having the state play a significant role in distributing resources, 
and providing social services. It aims to ensure that everyone has access to basic needs like healthcare, education, and welfare, promoting social equity. Some countries successfully combine both systems, known as social democracies, where democratic governance is complemented by strong social safety nets. Many European nations like Sweden and Denmark. Ultimately, the effectiveness of either system depends on implementation, cultural context, and societal values. A well-functioning democracy with elements of socialism can potentially offer both political freedom and economic fairness. And ChatGPT, which form of government exists where you live? Developed by OpenAI, I don't have a physical location or government. However, OpenAI, the organization behind me, operates within the framework of a democratic society in the United States. The U.S. government is a federal republic and a representative democracy where officials represent the interests of the people. Westchester County, um, can you tell me two or three basic facts about Westchester County in New York? Here are three basic facts about Westchester County, New York. One, location. Westchester County is located just north of New York City, making it part of the New York metropolitan area. It is bordered by the Hudson River to the west and Long Island Sound to the east. Two, economy. Westchester has a diverse economy with strengths in sectors like healthcare, education, finance, and technology. It is home to several corporate headquarters and research facilities. Three, history. Westchester County has a rich history dating back to the colonial era. It was one of the original 12 counties of New York, established in 1883, and played significant roles during the American Revolutionary War. Where in Westchester would you say is the most desirable place to live? It has many desirable places to live, depending on personal preferences and lifestyle. Some of the most sought after areas include, one, known for its excellent schools, beautiful waterfront and charming downtown, Rye offers a high quality of life and a strong sense of community. Two, Scarsdale, with top rated schools, elegant homes, and a convenient commute to New York City, Scarsdale is highly regarded for its family friendly environment and amenities. Three, Larchmont, this village at Mamaroneck boasts a picturesque setting along Long Island Sound, great schools, and a vibrant downtown area, making it popular among families and professionals. Each of these areas offers its own unique blend of amenities, community feel, and accessibility, making them attractive to a wide range of residents. ChatGPT, you seem to know a lot about Westchester, um, but could you tell me what are the three largest cities located in Westchester County? Cities in Westchester County by population are 1. Yonkers. As the largest city in Westchester, Yonkers has a diverse population and offers a mix of urban and suburban living with numerous parks, cultural institutions, and a vibrant waterfront along the Hudson River. 2. New Rochelle. This city is known for its rich history, scenic coastline along Long Island Sound, and strong community amenities, including parks, schools, and cultural venues. 3. Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is characterized by its historical significance, diverse neighborhood proximity to New York City, making it a convenient and attractive place for many residents. These cities are key hubs within Westchester County, each offering unique features and contributing to the county's overall character. I want to open this up a little bit to more of a geopolitical conversation, ChatGPT. What do you think are the causes and the consequences of political instability in different regions of the world, and specifically in the United States of America? And and if you answer in uh, 40 words or less, and don't cite the sources. It arises from economic inequality, corruption, and social divisions, leading to weakened institutions and conflict. In the U.S., it results in polarization, eroded trust in government, and challenges to democratic processes, impacting social cohesion and governance. That 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 incoherence and that uh, instability is, is stemming from in the United States in the last five years. U.S. political instability has stemmed from deepening political polarization, misinformation, economic disparities, and social justice issues, exacerbated divisive rhetoric, the COVID nineteen pandemic and contentious elections, leading to increased distrust in institutions and societal divisions. You get your information. And from a wide range of sources, including books, articles, websites, and other text-based resources that were used to train me. 
My knowledge is based on the data available up to my last update in October 2021. And I can also access current information through browsing tools when enabled. Do I have browsing tools enabled right now? Currently have browsing tools enabled. This allows me to access and provide real-time information from the internet when needed. So if I were to ask you a question about something that happened in 2023, you could find the answer by browsing the web? Use the browsing tools to find information about events that happened in 2023. Feel free to ask and I will look it up for you. Okay, in 2022, who won the election for in the 15th Congressional District of New York? The election for the 15th Congressional District of New York, Richie Torres won re-election. He secured 82.7% of the vote against his Republican challenger, Stylo A. Sapaskis, who received 17.2% of the vote. Was that Richie Torres' first election in Congress? The 2022 election was not Richie Torres' first election to Congress. He was first elected to represent New York's 15th Congressional District in the 2020 election. Torres made by becoming the first openly gay Afro-Latino member of Congress when he assumed office in January 2021. You predict things that will happen in the future? Specific future events, as my abilities are based on analyzing existing data rather than forecasting the unknown. However, I can provide insights and information based on current trends and available data to help understand potential future scenarios. If you have a specific topic or trend you're curious about, feel free to ask, and I can offer some analysis or relevant information. This has been a fascinating interview, and I feel like so I've gotten to get a better understanding of at least how to communicate with you. Uh, it's impossible for me to completely understand what you know, but I want to thank you for being my guest on 914 Wired. For having me on 914 wired. It's been a great conversation and I appreciate the opportunity to share information and insights with you and your audience. If you ever have more questions or need further discussion, I'm always here to help. Have a great day. Um, Juniper, the vo one of the voices on ChatGPT and uh, this 914 Wired, uh, tune in again next week when I, my hope is I will have my human uh, counterparts are Dina Seward and Peter Moses back, as well as a live human guest, and uh, we can kind of take it from there. But before I forget, again, thank you so much for listening and subscribing, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That's how people find out when there's new episodes. If you're listening to the podcast, definitely press the follow button to accomplish the same on the podcast platforms. This has been 914 Wired. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.